the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Um, uh, I, had, I have a very interesting uh, discussion this morning that I love to hear your your uh, input on. Uh, but let's pray for it. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come. What one second, sir? Lord, Father, let me get let me get you, let me get live. I want to go live. We want to make sure anybody else get in there. They, they, they can hear us. They can hear what he's saying. So we're gonna say move mm -hmm. away and let the Holy Spirit have his way. Amen. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come and worship your holy name. You said when two or three are gathered in your name that you're in the midst of us. We now invite and receive the Holy Spirit to come into the midst of us and anoint us to show forth the understanding of the kingdom of God and that the kingdom is calling all those who wish to believe in the Son all those who need to understand the power of the Father, all those who need to understand the power of the Holy Spirit. Come, Lord, teach us, guide us, direct us, and show us the importance that we all can be saved. We all must be born again, and we all can walk in this kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. I was sitting there, good brother, and my title today is, well, check this out. I'm going to go back to our beloved brother, Elder Johnson, and then go ahead to the next slide. Ooh, that's a lot of info. Oh, well, oh, Elder, yeah, I put a song up there. That, that, that's, that's what must be born again. You must be born again. And what we're going to talk about today for people is that why you must be born again. And if so, Lord gives time is to show the heart of man. The scripture I was showing to you is that the heart of man is desperately wicked. That's the scripture we're going to go to, but we're going to first go into what Jesus said, you must be born again. And then we need to just go into why it's important for us to be born again. And the other piece too is, you know, I, I, I didn't get it in there, but the, the, uh, it was led in my spirit, is to talk about Romans 12 too, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And, and I, you know, I tell you, and that's probably, probably good for a topic for next time. <laughs> I was sitting there listening to a, a, a presentation uh, on YouTube where it was talking about the Native Americans in this country. And one of the things is that the, the race of some of the, of the, the complexion, excuse me, the skin color of some of the people that were Native Americans, that still are Native Americans, uh, was that they were basically dark color skinned people. Mm -hmm. And somewhere along the line, our society chose to categorize and put people based on skin color. Uh, to put traits on those skin colors. And in the process of doing that, it, it put all those Native Americans that were of probably, I guess, African uh, descent. Well, all those came from Africa anyway. So of African descent that it made them African Americans or African descent, you know what I mean? In other words, they never mm -hmm. say they came from Africa. They they basically are the ones that came here on ships, mm -hmm. arrived here. Opposed to the fact is that they were here 
people of dark skin complexion, people of dark melon, were here uh, long before the Europeans showed up. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that was so. So it was just showing that our then then the fact is the the, the education system that we have put together has been geared to really skew the contribution, the value, the negative traits, the 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 worth of contribution uh, toward the, more of a European flavor and less from Native Americans and African American descendants. You know, that's why we have the uh, so-called Black History Month because the emphasis then is to try to bring in, show some of the contributions. And the fact that we know when you and I, we had talked about it before, is the fact that even the Israelis, the Hebrews, people who came out of Africa, uh, uh, 1 million of them, one point, maybe 1.2 million of them, uh, were people from, you know, they've been in Africa for 40 years. What, what did you become after being in Africa for after 40 years? Uh, you become Africans, you know, and they and they left and came over. Just, they just came right down the street, if you think about it, right? They just left Africa, crossed over to the, uh, I guess, the Sinai Peninsula or something like that, but into Israel, Cana, which is also a descendant of Ham. But that's irrelevant about that because I think all those words, the, all three of those sons were the same, came from the same mother. They, they basically brown or dark skin or light skin people so the, the point i guess i'm saying is renewing our mind is to the uh, this has been a systematic uh redirection into people's thought pattern concerning who they are and you to include in fact the, the like the picture you have behind you uh that was that was that was unfortunately changed to european paintings of Christ, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, that, but as, the reality is that's not, that's not true. The reality is what, what's behind you is mostly the skin complexion of the people that were considered Jewish in nature. Uh, they were people basically from Africa, but they're dark skin, dark color skin people. Uh, and we just need to make sure we understand that all those people played a major role in the history in our culture. You know, uh, it's not it's not once it's, it's a real balance of all people making a contribution in our society, and, it's, and it should not be something. Well, one of the, the one of the slides the guy was showing is we have taught we were taught to be ashamed of ourselves. To a degree, you know. Uh, what's your culture? Uh, I remember that once I was going to say, "Is it dynamite?" You remember JJ? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good times. Uh, you, you, you were, you were, you, you, you would be dynamite. Hey, bro, what's happening? You know, trying to put a culture on on a, a group of people who cultures were taken away a long time ago. But the key to it is the renewing of my mind. And understanding that, and I saw this on one of the preachers preaching the other day, he says, what is the color of a spirit? And you know what? There's no color of a spirit. You know, it may look like light or something like that, but there's no color. You know, it's not, it's not, a, it's not pink Simon color. You know, it's, it's not brown or, or, or dog black. It's, it's, it's a spirit. And that's why we must be understand that we had a, when we're born into this world, people, when you're born into this world, you're born with a disconnected spirit. And if you're disconnected, what is that, Brother Allison? If you're a disconnected spirit, meaning you're not connected to God, what are you? You're separated. And being dead, right? basically right? you call well, that's what that's what uh true death means yeah what's the word he said true true the 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 
the root of death is separated from God. You know, after that spirit was made alive. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. There's no end to that life. Because it's been reconnected. And but that life can be separated okay. from God, which is the term death. Yeah, that is the term. A separation from God. Yes. Yes. So that reconnection is what? Life. Life. And Jesus is the reconnection. So there's everlasting life. Come on, sir. And there's everlasting death. Yes, sir. Eternal separation. The, and then the the removal of the spirit from this physical body yes. is just transformation. Yes, sir. It is not a death. It's another cycle of life. You know what I mean? It's, 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 part of it's the a cycle. birth. It's, yeah. it's just being born uh -huh. into the spiritual realm to live yeah. separated from God or connected to God. Yes. To live a tormented existence or an existence of love. Come on. And worship and praise. Yes. Connected to the life itself, the source of life where man came. Yes. That's why it's so important to be with that, stat, that title saying, you must be, no kidding, born again. You know what I mean? And what we want to do is tell people why. I mean, this is this is the discussion about why it's important to be born again. And and we're gonna go with the scriptures to see what Christ said to Nicodemus about why you must be born again. You know? And it really get people to be, I think when they're talking about Romans 12 said, be be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Is to get our mind focused on this, well, you know, that's even Romans 8, right? Be a spiritual minded or cognitively minded. To be spiritual minded is life and peace, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we want to rise above the cardinality of the way the world has taught us. And I was bringing, and one of the things too, before I was going into this was the things that's going on in Ukraine, in Ukraine is showing you that even in 2022, as we started to keep calendars, and we're talking about a modern day calendar, the heart of man, and you correct me if I'm wrong, the heart of man is desperately, still desperately wicked. Yeah, that's just a, that's just a, a small part of it. Oh, a, 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 the, the, the war, is just a small part of it. I'm showing what man, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah. just the the very thoughts. Come on. Of man. Yeah. Is where we need to begin with. Yeah. And 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 that that war is just a result of the wicked mind, the mind yeah. that is separated from God. Yes. So you have a wickedness yes. a a evil yes that is beyond yes. the understanding of the a carnal mind yes see now for me it is plain and simple because mm -hmm. no, nothing in this world that is that what the world calls evil corrupt uh, uh, just chaos surprises me anymore. Right. Because my mind has been made free. Hmm. And when I say that, it is because truth has done it. Yes. And that truth is that the God of this world is Satan. Uh -huh. This world system yes. is Satan. Yeah. And so it doesn't surprise me anymore because I've I've my faith is in God. And if my faith is there, then I have to believe the entirety of it. And so believing it all, I've come to a revelation mm -hmm. that that is normal. Yes. 
it is not abnormal. Uh -huh. It is normal for these things to be happening in this world system, which is why I believe the Bible says focus on those things above. Above. That's what he wants to be spiritually minded above. Yes. Spiritually minded. And, and in doing that, these things don't move me mm -hmm. like they used to. Government that doesn't fall in my line of thinking and what I think it should be doing does not move me anymore because I am not of that yes. government. Yes. Like I've said, I am Heaven, and will Heaven. always be a Hevenian. Yes. A and I, 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 I seek to establish that even the more every day. Yes. So I proclaim it and I try to live it. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, I just, I see things as they are. Yes. I really do. Yeah. And all I have to do is just deal with my emotional connection to this physical realm. Right. And that is becoming easier and easier because I know that as long as as my flesh is desiring something, all I have to do is, okay, is this, is this uh, uh, abnormal or is it, you know, is, is it acceptable or not? Right. Meaning that if I have ought to get somebody, that's just flesh. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's flesh. Yeah. If I want to deprive somebody of something, that's just flesh. Come and on. I can look at the, the root of that come on and then overcome those emotions to where i can allow the love of god to override the fleshly decisions that would automatically or like i said would, that i would turn to a default mm -hmm. of man yeah which a is default. to always please the flesh yes self self-interest you know now there are people who are just good natured. Their nature is good and they do good things. But they have, if they have not accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior, those good things will cause them to be separated yes. from God. Yeah. Yeah. Because if they're putting their 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 they're putting their faith in themselves, in their effort. You know, yeah. now it's not saying that that is bad. It is just a good act. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. I'll try to and, and, and in my mind, if, if, if I have an enemy that is doing good on my behalf, I would not bother that enemy. Right. <laughs> that right. enemy to keep existing in the manner that they're existing. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so that is how Satan operates. If you're not advancing the kingdom of God, His will. then he's going to allow you to just run them up. You know, you may not be hindered or or, or, or run into issues and, and problems and situations and circumstances that affect you in a dramatic way. But why would he cause that to happen to you if you're not advancing the keys? Uh, right, right. Or why would the <laughs> look? Or why would the enemy get involved with you? That's that's what I'm saying. Okay, why, why, why would the enemy? Yeah, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, I got him. I'm gonna let him do. It. And then, matter of fact, I'm gonna put this person on a pedestal. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know that their life of of debauchery. <laughs> is glorious right you know it's it's pleasing it's 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 a it's desirable it also i like the word it calls fun yeah, yeah. somebody think it's so, yeah you know it's it 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 is on the surface but how many people do you see in those positions, kill themselves. You know, they 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 end their lives. They overdose. They they jump off of bridges. They 
<laughs> you know, they shoot themselves to death or, 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 you know, they're just miserable, even though they have the world at their fingertips. Right. Or left, you know, right. And, and, and if they're not willing to to sacrifice their own life, then they're out doing atrocities on everyone else. I mean, right. look at the current situation that's going on in the world today. This guy yeah. has everything. Yes, everything. Wealth, I mean, look at and, you know, the oligarchies too. They got yeah. I mean, big old Yeah, uh, yeah. They, they, there's, they don't have to be involved with anything other than just living a life of luxury. Yeah. And having whatever they want. Whatever they want. Everything. But yet, it's not enough. So here we have atrocities against some people who have nothing to do yeah. with this person. Right. Right. They want to You know, and, and I'm talking about this is murdering murder children, women. It is tempo. Elderly, sick. Yeah. So, you know, having it all don't mean nothing. Yeah. And and, and or, or even the concept of the value, I think that same thing with China, trying to bring, call this up, bringing people into your orbit. And you yeah. almost sit there and say, what is the value of being, you know, I can, I can see if Taiwan, I'm going to use that because it's the same thing. If Taiwan, if you want to put a carrot in front of Taiwan, China, and, and say, hey, look, the reason why we want you as one with us is because, hey, look, like the kingdom, right? There, there, there's, there's some blessings that comes along with being part of us. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, what, you don't draw people in because you want to control them. You want to draw people in because that's where the blessings are. That's where the unity has a value, you know what I mean? There, there's yeah. a profitable if you come this way. Say, I think the same thing what God is doing for, for when He said there's a choice is He's saying, Let me tell you about the kingdom and my kingdom. Let me tell you one of the benefits. One of the benefits is eternal life in my kingdom. One of the benefits is that you'll never be alone because I'll never leave you, nor forsake 